Greetings, Kerbinauts! Today I'm doing Reddit Week 90 Challenge, which is to land on the moon and come back again. With only one engine to use for the entire trip, I have selected the double nozzle NASA engine that has integrated fuel tanks. Surrounding that is six radially mounted tanks. I drop away each pair as they drain. The second pair had a little bit of an explosion afterward, but I think it was something on each other that got hit because I checked the log and my rocket was just fine. We started off with the moon on the horizon, so we're doing a direct ascent straight to the moon's intercept. There are very few mods installed on this build. This is the same install I was using for Operation Gold Strike, which I was trying to keep as close to stock as possible. It has multiple beautification mods and a couple utility things like enhanced nav ball and docking alignment, but there are no extra parts. Any changes in the parts are just from texture changes, not from model changes. This craft is entirely stock. MechJeb is installed, but I'm not using it in any way beyond what Kerbal Engineer would be able to do. So I'm still counting this as a hard mode run. I use that window that says Flight Computer. It gives me Kerbal Engineer style readouts, and that's the only thing I use it for. There is no Smart SAS, there's no Automated Ascent. In fact, I have those disabled. I couldn't use them if I wanted to. As you can see, I have elected to spice things up by landing at the arch, hopping out, running over there, dropping down a flag, and then coming back. But after that, we are not done. Hard mode was supposed to be to go land on the moon and head back to Kerbin. Well, I realize in this that I have enough fuel to make a flyby of Minmus before heading back, and so that's what we do second. I sat on the surface waiting four Kerbin days for the moon to rotate around to where Minmus was lined up and we could just make a direct ascent straight there. A slight maneuver was made at the ascending node partway along the orbit so that we could make sure that we intercept, bringing down the orbit enough to do a flyby over the north pole of Minmus before heading back to Kerbin. I used up the last little bit of fuel that was in that stage just to slow down the tiniest bit, and then flip over so that the engine itself can be like a heat shield for my re-entry. Once through the hot part of the atmosphere, we drop that away, open up a couple chutes, and head down to the water. The landing gear was in case we hit land, but we didn't. Hard mode complete, plus a trip to the arch and a flyby of Minmus. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.